Hi, this is Lucas Nera, and this is my friend Samuel Sanchez. All right, thank you. And we're going to do an interview about our what's our experience in our land around New York. All right. So, so Samuel, do you have any questions? Yeah. What is Kew Gardens? Well, Kew Gardens is a neighborhood in in the central area of the New York City borough of Queens. Kew Gardens shaped roughly like a triangle. It's bounded in, to the north in the Union Turnpike in Jackie Robinson Parkway. Kew Gardens offers historic architecture, windows, winning streets, and village environment. The neighborhood is completely planned out, but has an organic centuries old feel. All right, that's pretty interesting. And why some of the transportation don't work anymore? Oh, some don't work because there's a lack of fuel to run the train. Some railroads have been abandoned because there were trees that fell down or didn't work properly during the time. Also, there were major accidents that already happened. On November 22, 1950, two Long Island Railroad trains collided in Kew Gardens. The train collided between Kew Gardens and Jamaica stations, killing 78 people and injuring 363. Oh, that's really sad. And what are what was the first development in Kew Gardens? Uh, Kew Gardens was one of the seven uh, plant garden communities built in Queens from the late 19th century to 1950. The early homes of Kew Gardens had strict covenants to prevent overdevelopment. The restrict area of the map to the left was limited to single family homes and with larger apartment buildings regulated to the neighborhood's prosperity. Okay. And what did and what did the what did the structure of buildings remain the same? A few building structure has been lost due to bankruptcy or lack of interest. These there are these are still here, but with a slight of adjustments. For example, the Austin Street underpass snakes below under Union Turnpike or Jack McGarvison Parkway. And what's once had a parkway style wooden lamppost. The street scene has changed little in the past 80 years. Whew, jeez. Like, they want to keep it like more of a museum. That's what they want to keep it away. Because they want to make the area more special, right? Yeah, that makes sense. It's pretty special already, but they want to make it a little better to this and come. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the other buildings are still the same because it makes Kew Gardens feel more historical and unique. Unlike other places around New York where they decide to change so much because they want us to keep on with the modern generation. Yeah, that's true. But, but, but sometimes you have to respect the original creator for what they've done. Otherwise, you're just basically... I don't know what you are. Yeah, it's pretty good to like keep your culture and your structures because it looks really like vintage and nice many times. And I really can't read that question. Uh, who was the creator of Kew Gardens, New York, and why the person is interest interested of, of making this? What was the person interested of making this? Uh. Q Gardens was designed by Richard Hill builder Elmont Platman and and developed by his son Alric Hubbleman. The neighborhood had the combination of winding park like streets and alphabetic like, alphabetic uh, street grid. Uh so what is the immigrants of Q Gardens in New York? No my brother, I can't show you. Uh, um the Q Garden has a Highest percentage of residents who work from home in Queens. Major development in the neighborhood, such as construction of new apartment complexes and multifamily homes, has resulted in great demographic demographic change as well. Uh, immigrants from Latin America, Guyana, South America, 
South Asia, and East Asia, and Middle East, especially Israel, have moved into the new developments. Even the local cuisine reflects on the, this diversity in Kew Gardens with Russian, Italian, Indian, Pakistani, and Uzbek dining available to residents and visitors. So basically, this mostly like any people around any race around this area is more like equal. Yeah. And more like they know each other without any kind of hatred towards. Yeah, it's a pretty cool park because New York is kind of segregated. Like there are some really uh, white neighborhoods and some other really Hispanic. And but this one's really like mix, and I feel like I've seen a little bit of every culture in this neighborhood throughout the years. All right. Um, what are the sort of religions and traditions to the people in New York in Kew Gardens? Uh, these religious groups, like such as Jews, Muslims, and Hindus, can shop at local markets and and bazaar like kind of do their religion food needs. They have some sort of like a tradition. Like going around, like you see, like these people. I think, like, the just like the one that you see around the area with like black clothing, yeah, around little and, they also, and also they take their children too, or the grands, grandkids, or something like that. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I, I've actually seen one Jewish market. I was walking by and I saw it was, it was really different, it had different labels, different foods, and they were all basically Jewish in there, and it was really like sort of cringy because I'm not Jewish, but it was also really interesting to see other cultures and how they shop. So what what could gardens uh, are, was your first choice of living in New York and how you feel, how do you feel about your interest? How do you find interest on Your interest, it? but uh... Yeah, interest. Anyway, the reason why I picked the Q Gardens in the first place was because um, we're trying to find my, me and my parents and I are trying to find a, a place where we can we can able to stay and because most of the other areas they are kind of expensive and we're trying to find one that is kind of cheap and trying to rent an apartment and well the reason why Kew Gardens was my first choice of living is because of the environment and society there are no there are, what I see so far is that there is no dangerous activities. There is no robbery, there is no murdering, no, nothing like that. I think that already passed already during during when I first come here. It was just nice, but before that, it was all the events just already happened. Alright, yeah, that's a pretty good option. So Also, the fact uh, that my grandmother and aunt was also there. Oh, yeah. Also, the area feels unique and timeless, unlike other areas where they change the style to keep on with the modern trend, which I know is old, but sometimes you gotta take a look at it and see oh, how it's so special about these kind of places like these. So, how much do you have to pay to stay in Kew Gardens? Uh, it's not really that a lot to pay. I mean, to the fact that um, I'm not supposed to be in, I'm not supposed to be like uh, acknowledging this kind of situation without to do with money because when I first got here I was like around f five yeah five years old so basically my parents were the ones that are taking me taking care of that kind of risk but overall when now I'm older I see that the cost of how much to buy food and rent an apartment the only expensive thing thing then two gardens are pretty much the houses around the park area and restaurants as well because I don't know they I guess like some sort of like culture tradition that they feel that the food feels so special that it costs much more expensive that's why oh I got it now and uh, are there any other um uh... Are, they, uh, are there crimes in Kew Gardens? Do they happen a lot? Well, for the for around like when I was around like when I come here in 2005, I think it was, yeah. 
2005. Um, well, Kew Gardens was usually was supposed to be kind of like unsafe environment, but usually that was in the past. In 2005, that didn't really happen. So Kew Gardens right now is basically has really like really low crime rate or very low crime rate. But before it was like um, it was not that much. Just like reported like assault, robbery, and small murder charges. Okay, so that'll, that'll be it for this. And so, it was yeah. really told to you about Kew Gardens and how you, what, what you think about this neighborhood. And it's been pretty special. It's, it's been a pretty special part in your life, I can't tell you. Yeah. So overall, but even though Kew Gardens right now is like, been changed a lot over the years. Especially the park that we're right here, that's been changed as well. There's no more trees. Actually, there's a few, but not that much yeah and also the the really iconic water tower that was around that that was around the uh, i think it was what address was that one i don't really know i don't know but anyway um it was it somehow got disappeared and got dismantled because they just don't really need it anymore yeah but it's a pretty, it's a really good neighborhood. I still like it a lot more than yeah. others. Yeah, some people may like it. Some people want to move to other places. But overall, it's a really great uh, area to to be here. And it's now safe, actually. There's not a lot of problems around this area. Over the just, I don't know. Just yeah. I feel really safe here. I can walk out at any time. And I, I don't feel like I'm going to get... Mm -hmm. stolen or kidnapped or anything worse I just feel calm and it's just so nice the pipes here feel so like chilly and they don't feel unsafe you just feel like you're home all the time so do you have anything to talk about about this no I think we're done well anyway that's all we're here for today and I want to say that if you ever like to be in Kew Gardens, just feel free to to show your reply. Yeah. So anyway, thanks, and see you guys later. Bye.